when you are from from training you have to race it is a must you have to race for some one hour or two hours it depends on the training you have gone Sleep is the cornerstone of recovery. I've done a previous uh, video on recovery. I'll post the link up. Uh, in that video, I looked at a river here that they use as an ice bath, as well as that I looked at massage. Uh, but in this video, I wanted to focus on sleep. So we all know that recognize that sleep is very important for the athlete. Uh, it helps in both adapting and recovering from the training, as well as on, on helping improve performance with, with subsequent sessions and races. Personally, I think it's something that I hadn't prioritized much prior to coming to train in Captura. So working as a doctor, I was doing shift work, working night shifts. It was really interrupting and resulting in me not getting enough sleep. Having these training blocks has given me more flexibility to allow to focus on, on that aspect of my recovery. Now, we, we know as well that there's variability in terms of how much sleep we all need. There's genetic differences in the quality of sleep we get and therefore the amount that we need. What I've observed here definitely is that the athletes here tend to get more, a lot more rest. They're both sleeping more at night as well as getting rest in the day. I've also noticed that the athletes who are uh, getting full sponsorship, the athletes in elite camps, uh, have a better opportunity as well because they don't have other commitments to meet in the day whereby they can then uh, focus more on, on their sleep. Uh, I thought with this video as well I would talk to athletes here and find out more about their sleep pattern uh, and have their thoughts about sleep and here it is. In that side of sleep when you are from re from training you have to race it is a must you have to race for some one hour or two hours it depends on the training you have gone that day so you have to race so that so that tomorrow you wake up when you have some energy also at night it, is, it needs now you rest earlier. You have to eat earlier so that you can rest enough. And you wake up tomorrow very early in the morning at 5. At 8 I have to sleep at 8. Yeah, if you rest earlier you can perform very well. For the good performance you need to have a very good sleep and enough rest because you need to rest to have more recover to have, to recover your body very well, so that to help you when it comes to the issue of competition it will be okay. Now, to me, after speed work, I rest for th two to three hours for good recovery. Then after evening jogging, I sleep at eight sharp. Over if, or if it goes, it I sleep at eight thirty. Then I wake up at 5 in the morning. Sleep is good for recovery, for body recovery, yeah. My typical sleep after training is like uh, when I'm waking up in the morning, I do like a speed work of one hour and 30 minutes. And that's my, when I'm actually when, when I'm very tired, I can rest for three hours. And then after, I eat lunch, then I go back again for another three hours. Remember I said, three hours is very important after after training. Three hours can recover, all day lose the calories. And what's very important is taking a lot of water during training. The water can recover very fast. Resting at night like this is amazing because for us, we are sleeping from from 10 p.m. up to 5 a.m. in the morning. That is too much now, I think. <laughs> the body will have recovered now completely. When you wake up, you wake up when the body is very light because you are now fully recovered. Yeah, so we've seen that the typical sleep pattern here is, is twice, so the long night sleep, they also get rest during the day. Um, that might not be something that you'll be able to do with your work life. It's interesting to see um, that, that they, they rest here a lot more and, and that might be having an impact on, on why they're performing so well. 
Uh, so I was interested to find out what your sleep pattern is. Uh, how much are you typically sleeping? How much sleep do you think you need? Uh, and whether you've noticed any impacts that it's had on your, on your training and performance. Uh, comment down below. See you on the next video.